Hello and welcome to another edition of Math is Still Math. Well, it's here, it's math night. I'm glad y'all made it. We're gonna start things off with a number talk. So, I'm gonna pose a problem to you and I want you to come up with the answer in your head, no paper allowed. In fact, not only do I want you to come up with a way to solve this problem, I want you to come up with as many ways to solve it as possible. Ready? Remember, no paper, no calculators, all mental. Let's go. Well, here it is, 35 minus 12. Now, like I said, I want you to come up with the answer and then see if you can come up with another way to get that answer. Really think about how you came up with it. Here are a few possibilities. Now, pause the video if you don't want to see them right away. Maybe you subtract the tens places and subtract the ones places and then put them together. Maybe you subtracted 10 first and then subtracted the two afterwards and ended up with 23 that way. Or maybe you subtracted the two first and then subtracted the 10 and still got 23. Maybe you peeled two off each of your numbers. So you have 35 minus 12 has become 33 minus 10 and you still get 23 that way. The point is, there are many ways to solve this problem, even without a calculator or paper. But there's one way I'm going to advocate for thinking in a higher level, and that is integers. It turns out that subtraction was just an invention that tried to make math easier for everybody. Because every subtraction problem is actually the addition of a negative number. That's all integers are, negative and positive whole numbers. So when you hear 35 minus 12, what I hear is 35 plus a negative 12. Let's unpack that just for a minute. So on a number line, positive numbers will move us to the right and negative numbers will move us to the left. So if we start at the origin, which is zero, and we move 35 units to the right, we'll end up over here. But then we're gonna add or combine that with a negative 12, which means we're gonna go left. 12 spaces, which is all the math you guys have already done. So let's do that. So we would still end up at 23. So no matter how you imagine, Subtracting 12 from 35, whether you split it up into tens and ones, or you use compatibility rules and make it into 33 minus 10, or if you reach outside and you start using integers by adding a negative number, you will still come up with the same answer. This has been Mr. Matthews with a quick number talk. Remember, math is still math.